to episode 18 of Out of Wenger's Shadow on FM24. I'm Jamie and coming up on today's episode, hopefully we're going to uh, secure a new job after our sacking by Nantes. And uh, as you can see, we've got uh, our first interview post-sacking with Lille. So uh, I'll be back in a moment with that job interview. Okay, here we go with the interview then. And as you can see, the board are pleased that I've taken the time to attend today. They've got a few questions they want to ask to see if I'm the uh, manager that they want to take the club forward. So uh, let's uh, get uh, down to business. Uh, you so far only managed one team throughout your entire career. Is this a good or a bad thing? Um, I think it reflects well on me that I've shown plenty of loyalty. So I'm going to go with that. Uh, why have you never been able to win a trophy? I've never been in a position to. Uh, fair to say you failed to live up to expectations at your former club. Why weren't you able to produce the goods? Um, I would have preferred to have been given a longer period of time, possibly. Um... So, I think I am going to, in fact, I'm going to ask for a chance. I'm going to make that promise. Uh, am I willing to assure them that I do a better job at maintaining a good dressing room atmosphere than previous managers did? Yeah, absolutely. I'm extremely confident I've been able to cultivate a strong atmosphere. Uh, part of company with our last manager much sooner than anybody would have anticipated. Can you offer us assurances we won't be in for a repeat? Uh, it's my intention to commit to a long and successful career with the club. Uh, we've been performing well below expectations are, and are on our worst run of the season. Could you get this team back on track? Um, yeah, absolutely. I'm all about motivation. That'll get the job done here. How would I feel about working with Director of Football, Sylvain Armand? Yeah, happy to work with him. No problem at all. I don't propose any staff changes. So I'm going to say no to that. Uh, moving on to the club vision. They want me to uh, play possession and high tempo pressing football. Absolutely fine. They require me to work within the wage budget. Fine. They want me to grow the club's reputation. Well, I intend to take them to the league title, so that will happen. Three-year contracts for first-team players. Absolutely on board with that. One-year contract for players over the age of 34. I won't be offering any. Um, they want me to reach the latest stages of the Europa League, qualify for the Europa League, and reach the latest stages of the Coupe de France this year. And uh, they want me to challenge for a domestic cup next season and work towards Champions League qualification and eventually do that and rinse and repeat. So, yeah, the club's got an exciting future. I am happy uh, with those objectives. Uh, if hired, we would expect you to challenge for uh, Europa League qualification. Do you think you could do better than that? Um, I think that's a realistic target. I'm not going to set myself a higher challenge than that. Transfer budget of 22 million. That's fine. And a wage budget of £831,000 per week. Yeah, I think that's okay for now, but uh, once we get into the Champions League, it won't be, so I'll take it for now. And there is nothing else I want to ask or ask for, so uh, that is the end of their questions. They've thanked me for attending, and they'll be in touch with the outcome very shortly, and I'll be back to let you know how it's gone. Okay, well, just three days after my interview, Lille have come back and offered me a three-year contract 
on £7,250 a week to take the job. So, uh, and they believe I'm the ideal person to replace Julian Nagelsmann. Uh, they want possession and high tempo pressing football. They want me to work within the wage budget, grow the reputation, all of which we knew already. Um, none of this is a surprise. It's all exactly uh, as laid out at interview. So we'll start the uh, negotiations and uh, let's see if I can get a little bit more out of them. I'll try for 10,000 a week. But with the uh, intention of coming down from that, try eight and a half. And I'll agree with their uh, offer of uh, 7,750 per week. So we'll finalise the deal and I'll be back in a moment with the official confirmation that we've taken over as the new manager of Lille. Okay, here is the official uh, confirmation then from uh, L'Equipe TV. Lille Olympic Sporting Club hire Vengarius. Lille of today confirmed the appointment of Arsenius Vengarius as the club's new manager. Eyebrows have been raised in the world of football at the appointment of the 37-year-old who's recently spent time away from club football and he's sure to place, face plenty of questions when he faces the media for the first time at Stade Pierre Moroy. Vengeri has struggled at Nantes and was eventually sacked and will now be hoping for a better experience upon taking the Lille post. He replaces previous manager Julian Nagelsmann. Uh, Yagoba Arasat was considered to be the favourite for the job, particularly after he was spotted attending an interview with the club, but they ultimately preferred a different candidate. Lille are currently lying in 7th place in the Ligue 1 Uber Eats. Lille have drawn 3 of their last 5 games in the league. So uh, now that we know uh, what we're taking on, I'll uh, be back in a moment to show you the squad that we've inherited. Okay, here is the uh, squad that we've inherited. Then we've got two goalkeepers. Uh, Castiles is marginally better, so he's going to be my uh, first choice goalkeeper to start with. Um, let me just hide anyone and not here. And that reveals a problem in that we don't have a single right back at the club as it stands. So I think think we're either going to have to look in the youth team we're going to have to play somebody out of position or we're going to have to uh, do something that doesn't involve full backs so it might be that we go with the three at the back system so uh, we've got uh, as i said castiles and valdemars and the goalkeepers three central defender in fact there's four central defenders gabia Diakit, Ribeiro and Yoro. Um, we've got one left back in Alvaro Fernandez. We've got three defensive midfielders in Miramon, Skip and Cardoso. We've got a left wing back in Angelino. We've got two central midfielders in Bentaleb and Magnetti. Um, we've got numerous right wingers we've got Jagrova, Bayo, Palistri, Almiron and Santos. We've got Jonathan David who is an attacking midfielder alongside Hakon Haraldson and uh, Yusuf Yaziki and then we've got two strikers in Faris and Menage. The squad looks reasonably talented, just terribly unbalanced. So uh, I'll be back in a moment to uh, round off the episode and uh, let you know what's coming up on the next one. Okay, well this is the uh, league table on the day that we've joined. And uh, as you can see, we're sat in seventh place with six wins, eight draws and just four defeats from... Uh, 
18 matches. Uh, the problem has been scoring goals. Only 21 in 18 games. 16 conceded is absolutely excellent. So uh, won't be uh, worried about the uh, defending. We'll definitely be needing to uh, try and coax more goals out of the squad. So let's have a look at what is coming up on the next episode. And as is customary, I will show you the first two games in charge. So we'll be away to uh, Dunkirk in the Coupe de France and away in our uh, Europa League uh, game against Wolfsburg. So uh, if you've enjoyed that, please leave a nice thumbs up on there for me. Subscribe to the channel for daily Football Manager videos. Thank you very much indeed for watching and goodbye. Thank <laughs> you.